Hey, buddy. Welcome to a brand new episode of Wrap It Out. Today, I'm here with Jay Alexander Music. He's one of the best recording artists on Rap Pass. Say hello to the world. What up, y'all? Hey, man. It's really great for you to be here today. I'm really super excited. Why don't you tell the audience a bit about yourself? Well, my name is uh, obviously Jay Alexander Music. Uh, I use music as a, basically a therapy to uh, process things that happen in my life, you know, just get through life, basically. That's how I've always treated it. Uh, I tend to tackle subjects that are sometimes a little bit... I, uh, I wouldn't say they're mentioned that much in common, uh, in common circles nowadays, because everything is, you know... Everything these days are just looked down upon and, oh, you can't talk about that. I say, fuck that. I say, I talk about what I need to talk about to make myself better, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's on period. Mm-hmm. Period on straight. Okay. Um, so, first and foremost, um... I'm wondering this, and you already answered me earlier, but the but people out there don't know. But uh, yeah. it's is Jay Alexander really your name? It's close enough to my name without actually being my name. I took the J from the first letter of my first name, kind of stylized it as J A Y, and then of course Alexander is my middle name, and it kind of just flows off the tongue. So once I switched from my original name, it just kind of stuck to it, it to me since there. <laughs> Oh, nice man, nice style. And definitely, I wouldn't think of. He got a really nice flow, really nice style. Um, so <laughs> let's travel back in time for a sec. Let's travel let's back go. to the very beginning. Um, so how did J Rube with music start for you? Um. Uh... Do I go back, like, the start of music or the start of actually, like, taking it seriously, actually writing stuff and going in on... Basically everything. We're going back in time, so we're going back to the very beginning. (laughs) All right. Well, actually, my first uh, YouTube cover went up in uh, December, so I think, if I remember correctly, uh... we were so close. Tomorrow is my eight-year anniversary. I started this in, uh, on December, and my first video went up December 19th of uh, 2011. Basically what got me into music. I, I uh, heard Linkin Park, and first time hearing him, I just fell in love with, with the uh, medium, and I haven't looked back since. There's something about it, being able to express your, most, your emotions in a way that is pretty difficult otherwise. Is it, It's just... a, a a blessing, I would say. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really amazing. Um, I can't believe your whole career started on YouTube. So, your whole channel, you started in 2012, like eight years ago, and you started a whole YouTube channel. Yeah, I just put uh, very late 2011, just got my shitty laptop out with the shitty camera and put a shitty video on shitty YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, um, that's new. That's really new. Um, actually, that's the first time I never heard anybody say YouTube. That's the first time I never heard anybody say YouTube was like the start. Yeah, I would think that's where a lot of people get their start. They're in SoundCloud. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I couldn't agree more with that. SoundCloud's just um, definitely like the start of music for most people. It's either that or just they were born into rap and singing. But yeah. yeah. Totally got you. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> um, got, uh, I'm stuttering again. I have an issue all day. Um, so uh, what was the trigger point that made you decide to get into music? Um, hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, if I can remember correctly, which ninety nine percent of the time I cannot, uh, <laughs> I be- like I said, I, I first time I heard Lincoln Park, just I related on such a on such a primal level. Like I just knew as soon as I heard that I have to do that. So you know, it just went from there, and I just 
kind of just fell into it because it just took me so hard that I knew my life would be music ever since then. <laughs> oh, wow. Lincoln Parker is like your big inspiration. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, not even, I mean that's that's really incredible. I never heard of him, no offense, but I never heard of him. Is he like a country, um, is he country, rap, pop? Like, I never heard of him before. They're a uh, new metal band, actually, so kind of a rap rock band. Oh, it's a band. Oh, that explains yeah. it. I never, I never heard of a rap band, so I've actually yeah. never heard of a rap band. Um, so that's that's very new to me. I've heard Eminem, I've heard Drake, I've heard Nicki Minaj, but I never heard of a rap band. Yeah, that is a first timer. Yeah, they were they were had their own little thing. Uh, I think they started late '90s, early 2000s. They had a, a singing and screaming vocalist, and they had a rap vocalist. Oh wow, that's incredible! <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure most people listening probably know of them, honestly, because <laughs> they got huge. Oh really? Yeah, uh, like they they went. So high on the mainstream for being what they were. Ooh. I see your point. But that's yeah. the first time I've ever heard mention his name, so I don't know if he's that popular. I think yeah. I've heard Eminem. Eminem about about ten times here on this podcast. People have mentioned Eminem's like their favorite, like their idol, their inspiration. I definitely like take in- you I definitely sorry to cut you off. Uh, I definitely take right. cues from Eminem. You know, he he's he was a big part of it. But honestly, just the way I make music and the way I enjoy music, I could not pick a single artist to, that I solely take cues from. And that's kind of what makes me unique. Is I take a little bit from every artist I like, and then I add my own spin on it, and it becomes my own. <laughs> oh, okay, that's really interesting. I I really like that. And you take the little bits from artisan and Andrew own style. I mean, that's really incredible. I mean, that's also a first time. I never, I never really, really seen anybody with that kind of style huh. ever. I mean, I mean, I've never. That's a first timer. Wow. Well, I guess I mean, today's I... a special episode for several reasons, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. I can agree. Well, I, I agree, one hundred percent. Um. All right, so now we're going to go into an alternate universe. So if you were not a musician, then who would you be? Uh, that's a tough one. Prob- uh, not to go, like, super dreary, but honestly, if I hadn't found music, I don't know if I would still be here today, honestly. <laughs> like, it's it's been there in such turmoil and such grief that it's pretty much been what's dri- uh, driven me throughout the years. Oh, Oh, I see. Um, okay, so that's also the first time. No one has really... Well, actually, let me back that. Uh, let me back the track. Some, uh, one person did say it, so... <laughs> oh, wow. I'm glad they have it, too, then. Shit. <laughs> <Sure. I'm> so <clears throat> Sorry. You're good. <laughs> Sorry about that. My house. Um... So it's gonna be one uh one little sec real quick, just give me one sec. Yeah. Sorry, I'm back. You're good. <laughs> Had to go fix something. Craziness. Um anyway, back to this. Um so now we're going. Now we're going to a dream. So, what would be your dream collaboration? Oh, that's a good question, man. <laughs> I enjoy so many that that's hard to pin down. I probably have to give that one some thought, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. Do they have to be currently alive? Um, not really. On that basis, probably Chester from Lincoln Park, because, like I said, he's the thing. He's the person that initially got me into everything. So, 
Unfortunately, <laughs> he passed a couple of years ago, but. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's awesome. I never, never heard of him. Got to check yeah. him out. I need to update my list of rappers to check out. I mean, I just heard two. <laughs> I really got. You get for me. List. Yeah, if you get the list from me, you'll be going into a lot of different genres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I have to. Um, so considering that you record music quite a lot, um, I'm sure you, um, I'm sure you've done this, but um, have you ever gone to a music block? Oh yeah. I've done that countless times. It kind of sucks, you know. You you're wanting to create a project, and then suddenly here's a wall. Now you're in it. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel you. I definitely do. Yeah. And I think I think everybody that has been all rapper and has been a rapper has experienced once or twice um, a ride a, a block, whether it's a music one or a writer's uh, block or. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm. And someone told me earlier that if you don't if you don't go through a music uh block, then you don't you don't write you you're not writing enough. <laughs> that sounds about right, because eventually you you run out of stuff to write about until you have more experiences. Mm-hmm. Cannot agree more. Cannot agree more. Um my God, I'm sorry again. Um, so what? Uh, so what's your favorite hip hop album? Or like, what hip hop albums did you grow up listening to? Um, hmm. I don't think I ever really. Did. That's that's the weird thing about it. I don't think I actually grew up with hip hop until I got into music myself. Uh, favorite hip hop album? That's that's a tough one. Um, <laughs> hmm. It's fine if you don't have a clear answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can say undefined. Had, yeah, undefined. If I had to pick, though, uh, it's probably a recent one, but I like I loved how he was stepping out of the box, kind of like I, you know, he did a bunch of different styles. It's similar to what I do. Before he, uh, actually, it was after he passed. XXX Tentacion did. Um, I have to say, a toss up between Skins and Bi- Bad Vibes Forever because both of them, he kind of explored several different genres and just didn't limit himself to one. He, he wasn't just a rapper on any of them, so those are those are two big ones I would say, at least recently that have uh, stuck out to me a lot. Oh, I see. More people on my list. Thank you for this. More people on my <laughs> list. I'm right. I'm writing it down. Yeah. Trying down the list. Um, trying down the list. <laughs> Gotta add this. Um. Okay. So now we're gonna go rap out wise, but firstly, and you have been, you DM me a lot about this. Yeah. So, do you have any new projects in the making? Do you have any new songs? A new album? I have got an entire year planned out uh, into the future. <laughs> I've got uh, four trap metal EPs coming out next year. Uh, I've got an instrumental album coming out next year. It's kind of a uh, EDM style type thing. Then I've got a uh, kind of a prog rock um, symphonic type thing I'm I'm going to be working on later in the year. And finally, to wrap everything up, I'm doing like an alternate rock pop type thing. So. I'm really branching out and trying uh, stuff I haven't really written for before. I've, I've done covers of similar genres, but I've never actually had the pleasure of writing for them. So yeah, I'm excited for the entire year. Uh, if all goes well, it's full up. Oh, wow. That's really incredible. Congrats on those albums, man. Congratulations. I'm super, super excited for you. I also have an album, but it's a written album, so I know you don't really do written. But um, <laughs> c- but congrats on your album albums, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> so, 
because um, you're on this little uh, a little podcast here, uh, let's take this time yeah. out to talk about those plans. So let's take this time out. Um, so those four albums, what was the inspiration to create? Like, why are you branching out to uh, different types of genres? Like, like, what's the meaning behind those four albums? Um, well, I got on a big Ghost main kick lately, so it, really weird metal-inspired genre-bending uh, project. He's, uh, he's a very unique artist in his own right. So I kind of I've always wanted to try branching into trap metal, but I've never actually had the opportunity to. So as soon as I, uh, you know, turned on that avenue, I just put the pedal down and just went with it because it's on. It's just making them has been such a unique experience for me because it's basically taking a different approach to what someone would think of as conventional hip-hop. So, you know, like, just absolutely going and just going and going and just absolutely letting emotion out. Because I've been in the uh, past couple of months, I've been in a dark place, so this has kind of been helping me, like, process that and just putting it out from me. So it's they're taking on kind of a darker tone to reflect how, you know, how my mind has been. But once they're finished, you know, they're kind, they're kind of helping me process everything and also providing a very, a very dark, sinister type of character that, that doesn't get touched on a lot by me. Oh, I see. I see. Thanks for the input, man. Um, that's really incredible what you're doing. Um, been incredible. I've never seen any artists doing this. I've never seen them plan out. I mean, can't believe you planned out 2021. You planned <laughs> it out. I mean, I mean, can't believe that. I mean, that's that's gotta be incredible. I mean, half these half these people on rap, I don't even know what they're doing next year, but you planned it out precisely. Yeah. On point. It's just incredible. I mean, I'm just blown away. Like, well, I got to do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I I definitely agree. Um, a follow up on the albums, though. Do you have any collaborations? And if you do not, I actually have got I actually got a couple people to consider collaborations. If you don't have any, oh, dope! I'll have to get some information from you. Uh, one track I've got coming out, I have absolutely no idea when it'll drop because I I have absolutely no idea who all is even going to stay on it, much less record their parts. Uh, I'm trying to uh, put together a cipher of a, a couple of people that I uh, know about and have worked with and also haven't worked with. Uh, I'm looking to put 11 people on the same track. <laughs> oh, that's really amazing. If you need 11 people... You are in luck because this Discord server has a lot of good recording artists. So, so you should really stay in the server. It has a lot of recording artists. If you need eleven people, you know, I got you. I got these eleven people right here. Sounds good. If anybody b- drops out, I'll I'll know where to come for uh, come to to uh, fill it up again. <laughs> Sounds good, man. You should ask on the server. Um, you should. Make sure uh, a lot of them would be interested. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. yeah, I'm getting happy feet. I'm excited for you. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm excited for what's coming next for you. I mean, just imagine how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really super excited. Um, so thanks for sharing a little tidbit about um. About your album, super duper excited. Super duper. Um, now, if you come with me, you're going to a super duper dark place. So, uh, we're in I'll the studio. Right <laughs> I'm turning off the lights, turning off the lights. There's scary music in the background. 
And then we're going to be going to Rap Hat. Da, da, da. Tell you what, if there's scary music, I might have produced it. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. yeah. Probably would. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> here we are in the darkest place in the whole social media. Rap Pad. Da, da, da. You mean right, this isn't right? Uh, <laughs> What? I said, you mean this isn't Reddit, the darkest place in, in the whole social media? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rap Pack can be so fucking toxic. I mean... Oh, I already I mean... know. Having been here four years, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, wow, four years. Wait. Yep. But your profile pic, I saw 2015. Right? Isn't it 2015 you came? 2016, I think in April 2016. Oh, oh, I was way off. I thought we were 2015. Uh, <laughs> my God. Um, oh, my God. I messed up. Um, so now we're gonna go on rap pad here. Uh, so since you've been on rap pad for a while, what is your favorite song that you made? And if you don't happen to have a favorite, then what's the best song that you made on rap pad? Ooh, that's a tough one. I've got a couple gems on there, honestly. <laughs> Um, hmm. I'm really fond of, uh, I know Hemophilia was a good one. That's a little bit back, a, a, like a year or two ago. Basically, uh, had a falling out with my biological mother, and uh, that came out of it. Kind of a really, a really real and gritty track that came out of that incident. Oh, nice, sweet, sweet. Oh no, I talk. Oh, I talk deep southern. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You're. I'm a Texan, but I just sounds. I just sound so country. Um. All good. I'm. I'm originally Kentucky and now South Carolina, so I've <laughs> probably hear it a lot more than uh, normal. Oh, it's saying, oh, yeah, you did mention, you did tell me you're from Kentucky, so I guess you're around Southern people, like, I, I bet. Yeah. This is exciting. This is really nice. I get to meet another Southern. Well, actually, next to Paula was from Houston, but I get to actually meet, like, a, a Southern. Is he from Houston? I know he's in Las Cruces now in uh, New Mexico. Mm-hmm, but he is from Houston and Rome from Dallas. So, huh. it's exciting. Yeah, I was on a label with uh, Apollo. He's, he does most of my mixing now. Oh! Oh, so you're, you're well acquainted with Nick's Apollo. Oh, you, yeah. you, sh- you should put him in the cipher. Already on it. <laughs> Although, I completely forgot about Nick's Apollo. I didn't know you. Uh, I didn't know you knew him. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Really cool. Um. Nice. Um. So, do you have any albums on Rap Pad? And if you do, what's your favorite or like the best album? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I've got I've got several on up on there. I think I post everything that I have on Rap Pad. Probably a new dawn, honestly, because that was the first one I had on streaming services, and it was the name itself is kind of uh, indicative of me kind of starting anew and really changing myself for the better and focusing on it as, as a craft, like full on rather than just you know, it's not just therapy. It's also now I'm focusing on really making it sound the best that it can be. While also venting and, you know, using it to process things. So, yeah, I'd say A New Dawn is probably the turning point and the most important uh, project on there as an album. Sorry, I gotta go check. Plus, sorry to cut you off again. (laughs) Plus, fun fact, that that was the first album I produced everything on there. 
Oh, really? Nice. Really cool, man. I really, I, sh- I really gotta check it. Actually, I should be. I should go on your mom and check out some of your music. I have. Um, this is not the first time I actually saw you. You you asked me for feedback on your, I think collabs and song a while back. So. Yeah, it's probably. I know I released. Uh, actually, come to think, I think all of the singles except for one that I'm releasing from. Uh, the black album that I, that I'm that is about to come out on the thirty first. I think all of them are features except one. Oh, oh I see. Got you. Got you. Um. So now we're gonna go underground to one of the rap heads, most popular, but also very dangerous thing ever. Paddling. Ah. So. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Have you done it? Uh, I've had my a, a couple of battles. It was never really central to. Uh, uh, never really central to what I do because I've always kind of gotten along with most people, and if I didn't, you know, I just cut ties and didn't worry about it. I have done a couple of friendly battles though. I was in a. I was in a um, one BYOB and a couple other things like several years ago. The BYOB is just like uh, early this year, late last year, sometime. I think I went up against Dappa. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Um, I'm sorry. I'm stuttering a lot. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, okay. So, this is exciting. All right, now here comes something exciting. I know this is not the thought I told you about. Now we're going to enter your brain. So, be careful. <laughs> don't trust me. We'll be, we'll be very careful. But we're going to be going inside your brain, and I want to know, what's the creative process like? How do you write a song? Um, honestly, it just kind of flows out of me. I listen to an instrumental, and it just start words just start typing on the onto the onto the screen. It's uh, usually how I feel is pretty much what what's gonna come out, unless I'm trying to uh, play up a character. Plus, I of course I have to add a little lyricism to uh, keep the hooks uh, to really keep people locked in, but. It just kind of flows, honestly. I just listen to something, and it just becomes one with me, and the song just... It, it's born out of that. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Really insane. Um, kind of insane that you... Um, actually, at the same time, not really. I like that you just go with the flow. Yeah. That's how you have to be. Yeah. <sighs> Which I kind of started out like that. Usually, I do all my songwriting in my notebook. <laughs> Got to start somewhere. Mhm. I could not agree more. Unfortunately, um, I could not agree more. Um. So now this is like your own opinion. Like, out of the music that you make, how do you describe the music that you make? How do you describe it? If I had to pick one word, I think the one that sticks out the most is real. Oh, real. Realness. How come? Basically, my music is just my life set to to the uh, tune of whatever I pick. My, uh, how I feel goes into it and just kind of flows out of me as I'm, as I'm writing. Oh, I see. That's really nice, man. Any more realness. But it's good that you're sticking to realness. Yeah. You're, you're sticking to it. Good. Uh, why am I selling so much? 
I'm sorry. I don't know why this has been happening <laughs> all day. You're good. It must be because the last day of school for me, because I actually, I don't mean to ask, are you in high school? Because you sound like a senior. Uh, I, was about a, I was a senior about. Uh, I want to say three and a half, four years ago. <laughs> so I graduated 23, in... 23, 24? 23, yeah. No! I don't look at those, so I can I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I was way off. You don't sound 23. You sound like you're... Like... It sounds like you're in, um, see, like you're a senior, like getting ready to go into college. But I didn't think you were like 23. Like, golly, you're older than Billie Eilish. Insane. <laughs> yeah, several years, I think. Um, that's a, a insane. Um, but besides that, I don't want to get uh, into no subject of age. Anyway, here comes something fun. You know what time it is. It's time, y'all. <laughs> it's time. I don't know what time it is. It's time to wrap it out. Sounds good. I'm especially excited. <laughs> so what you, what you going to do, man? So, what are we doing here? <laughs> what do you need? Well, basically, you can wrap out a verse from any song that you made. You could do a teaser from a song that you're going to release in the future, or you could just freestyle, which most people Good. don't freestyle, considering the fact that it's hard. Um, but, but anyway. Yeah, I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Audience is waiting. Let's hit it. All right. Well, this is from an album coming out on uh, December 31st called "This Is Not a Conventional Hip Hop Record." The song's called "Skewed Headspace." I got the uh, second verse here. Ready when you are. All right. And three, two, <laughs> one. Action. Rep anomaly is more than an idea, it's a way of life. Mind over matter 2.0 had to go under the knife. Things changed my entire way of life. Split cities and begin to look at things anew. And got even more sick. Cough, cough at you. Bubble 9mm coming to pop off at you. Have you drinking so much pop off? It shoots you. Turn your mind to ash. Pick at you or choose you. What can you do when the game comes? No su woo, just boo hoo. And do do. I am a dangerous mystery. Scooby doo, Miss Blue's clues and thoughts. Yeah. Then you turn to moonshine, I am that brine brew. Lyrical Voorhees, I appear right behind you to take a seat. I'll explain how to think like I do. It's simple. You take a bunch of brain and run it right through. Stumble a little bit because it's cold out, but... <laughs> wow. That... was... awesome! Hey, Cloud. Hopefully people think think that in about two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I think you sent me the uh actually MP3 file. Uh, I'm gonna put it as a teaser at the end. Yeah man, go go right ahead. I mean that's that's coming out after this project, so sometime next year. Ooh, I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I'm super ex I'm super excited now. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, so, big thank you, Jay Alexander Music, for being here today. I really love this. It it was happy really fun. Have, happy to be on. Thank you for bringing me. No problem, man. You were one of the ones that I just knew at that moment that you were you were one of the ones we got to interview. So I'm glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> You came. You're really amazing. I love your style. I love your music. I love your flow. It's absolutely incredible. So, 
before we end this, do you have any shout outs, any last words, any advice to kids out there who are just starting out songwriting and rapping? Anything that's here? Probably a cliche, but just honestly, it's it's true, so it doesn't matter if it's cliche or not. If you have a dream, just don't give up on it, because I was told so many times by so many people I wouldn't make it, but yet, here, you know, I haven't made it, but I get to do what I love, and, you know, it, it's just so fulfilling. I don't even care if I, quote unquote, make it, because just the action itself is just it fills me up with such joy that I that I am just able to do this. Also, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you said something about a shout out. I'll give a shout out to uh, everybody that's coming up on projects in the future. So uh, I obviously got Next Apollo on it. Uh, I had King Osiris on uh, one on one song. Shout out to him. Uh, Rainy Redza. Uh, let's see. If I'm missing anybody, I apologize. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head just who all have, uh, is going to be on a future thing. Uh, for a while, if I miss you, you know you, you know who you are. Shout out to you. But I'm just excited to have worked with so many people and just that enjoy this is just, just as much as I do. So it's it's a great thing. Nice, nice. Smooth and fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys out there. Thank you guys for watching. By the way, we have social media. Stop ignoring it. We have social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. A lot of y'all don't use it, so I'm not going to talk about it. And YouTube, so make sure y'all check it out. Also, shout out to Jay Alexander Music. Make sure to check out his music. Make sure to check him out on YouTube and watch out for his new music, new albums. Make sure y'all do that. I love y'all. See y'all very soon. And this podcast is also doing something a little Christmassy. We also have an episode getting released on Christmas. So watch out for that. Say something. Take care, y'all. All right, and I will see y'all very soon. Bye, y'all. Love you. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching our newest Wrap It Up episode with Jay Alexander Music. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. But do not go anywhere because we got a little something for y'all. Guess what? Jay Alexander Music has given us a snippet of one of his newest songs coming up very soon. So y'all get a chance to listen to listen to a sneak peek of one of his newest songs. So make sure y'all check that out. We hope you guys enjoy the episode. Make sure to check out his music. Make sure to follow him on Rap Hat if you haven't. Follow him on any social media that he has. Make sure to ask him for that. Hope you guys enjoy the snippet. And I will see y'all very soon. Bye. Yellow, red, rub, cat, flag, you promise, bitch, I'm taking his place, go away without a hitch, coming to kill anyone who is a snitch, say you're the best motherfucker, that shit is rich. Hard-headed, chorus, that's my store son What son that fell through, but we're still fine I ain't lying, a lot of us are inclined to kill time Not waste, that's where I draw the line I draw blood, but my pen ain't red by no one See, I'm a sick person, it takes one to know one You better run, I'm revealing my concealed gun I'm not done, but the huge number of no one Whisper something again, here I'm telling you some shit This kind of knowledge will make you receive a fucking bit I flow harder than all of those that I slid You know when you play me, that's a motherfucking hit Break the glass ceiling on the heads of rifles I do the sick shit for fun and survival I started to lose my edge, here's my revival Anyone that tries to take me is in denial <laughs>